Drive. That was Kiss. Rock and roll all night. Good morning. It's Glenn and Sadie with The Breakfast Club. Special guest joining us in the studio today from the Players Guild. We have Astrid Bugling. Astrid, how are you? Yes, I'm fine. How are you? Excellent. And also Ed Stone from the Players Guild. Good morning, guys. Nice to see you again. (laughs) You betcha. (laughs) The last time you were here, we talked about the radio play that you guys did. did. And Mm -hmm. apparently it was unbelievably successful. It was. And I thought... This is really amazing because we've had people come in the studio and just watch what we do and actually fall asleep. Yeah. So, <laughs> we haven't had the same results at all. Oh, dear. So how did you make a radio play to, exciting to make people want to sit there and get involved in it? How well, it, it? Because you're really just sitting around reading a script, correct? Exactly, yeah. We didn't know how it was going to work. I mean, it, that was a, a trial last time around. And when we talked, it was just a few days before we did the show. Yeah. Um, so with your help and also the local press, we managed to get a lot of people to show up. And it ended up being a full house. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, now, sorry. So first off, a little bit about this new radio play. Uh, how is it different from the other one? This is another true crime story. Yeah. And the play is based on a um, 1913 pearl robbery in London, in Hatton Garden District of London, which mm. is, is the big jewellery area of London. Right. All right. And, uh, yeah, so it's... Uh, and about how many characters will be in this? I think we've got about uh, 14 or 16 of us. Wow. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Excellent. Got rehearsals on Wednesday. Is, now, is this one of the ones that your dad wrote as well? Yes, yes. They're, they're all based on those that my dad had written. And they'd all been written for the BBC mm-hmm. back in the early 1950s. This particular one, 1952... So let's just quickly touch on this because I know we're not here to sell books, but you no. did bring us in a book called Missing Murder Suspected, a true crime trilogy written by your father. That's right. Is this book available for sale here in Chilliwack? It is, yeah. Um, there's a number of places where it's available, obviously. Yeah. Dickens uh, Sweet Store, yeah. they, they have them on sale there. Yeah. And um, they're on the internet, awesome. usual stuff. Oh, good stuff. Well, congratulations on that. Thank that's, you. Uh, that's a nice little project. Thank you. But Astrid, it's amazing how quickly this can come together when you think of how much rehearsals go into regular plays with costumes and backdrops and exactly. all Exactly. That's a good selling guys- Good selling feature to get actors yeah. too. I say, look, you don't have to memorize lines. You don't have to do blocking. <laughs> you know, because they ha- each have a script. You yeah. don't even have to stand up, do you? Well, they do. They <laughs> do. Ha- they do have to stand up, and and they- we're going to have like microphones across the stage. You know, okay. so they they can group around that. But it is a good selling feature because they just have the one rehearsal. We run through it a couple of times, and then that's it. And then we're on. <laughs> All right. So again, the play is called the uh, the Pearl in the Hand. Uh, tickets are on sale now. They are. You can call the uh, Chilliwack Cultural Center box office okay. and get your ticket. There's two shows. There's one at twelve thirty and one at three o'clock All on right. the Saturday. And if this is anything like the last radio play, this should be another sellout. Well, we, we hope, hope so. so. <laughs> All right. Well, that's fantastic. Now, All right. Before you move on here, I, I know there's a ton of stuff coming up with the Players Guild. Is there anything that uh, people should be on the lookout for? Yes. We're going to be starting rehearsals for our next upcoming show called Calendar Girls, uh, directed by Clint Ames. And it will go on in, in the spring in April. Uh, they're starting rehearsals in February, so we're all pretty excited about that show coming up. Awesome. All right. And keep listening to 89.5 The Drive for more on the Players Guild. And, of course, if you want to get your hands on tickets for tomorrow's show, either showing, uh, you can find all the details at ChilliwackCulturalCenter.ca.